The Wilcox and Rank Sum Test, otherwise known as a Man Whitney test, is a non parametric version of the t test. Although the t test is remarkably robust and reliable even in the face of violations of its assumptions, particularly if you have a sizable n, there may be situations where it's appropriate to use the Wilcoxon or Man Whitney test. It would be appropriate to use the Wilcoxon or Man Whitney test in the following situations if your dependent variable is an ordinal measure, or if your dependent variable is an interval measure but not normally distributed. You may also find that you're violating other assumptions of the t-test, including equal sample sizes in your groups, which may prompt you to run those tests as well. The Mann-Whitney test treats your data as ordinal, ranking your cases on your dependent variable's values, paying no attention to which group each value belongs. It then sums up the rankings for each group's values and compares them to the expected sum of rank. By way of example, let's look at the following data. Let's say we've decided that due to the non-normal distribution of our dependent variable here, SOS trust, that we would run a Mann-Whitney test. You'd simply go to Statistics, Summary Tables and Tests, Non-Parametric Tests of Hypotheses, Wilcox and Rank Sum Test. In the Variable window, you'd simply type in SOS trust in this case, and then your grouping variable, Gender, and go ahead and hit OK. First, you can see that the actual command is quite simple and mirrors that of a basic t-test. Then we actually see the actual ranked sums for males and females, and then the actual sums of, that we would expect. Based on the difference between the two, a z-value and a corresponding p-value are calculated. Now the null hypothesis here is that the distributions of the two groups are equal. The z-value and corresponding p-value tell you whether you can be confident in rejecting that hypothesis. Here, since we have a p-value of 0 0.0045, we can reject the null hypothesis and embrace the alternative that, in fact, the distributions are different from one another. Now, more often than not, your Mann-Whitney results will conform to your t-test results. It's not uncommon to report both results or simply note that Mann-Whitney or Wilcoxon rank sum tests were run and support your t-test findings. If there is a discrepancy, though, it may be better to go with the Mann-Whitney results, as they are more conservative, particularly if you have violated key assumptions of the t-test and are operating with a small n.